Now, I think it was around this time or maybe just before, maybe it was on the um, Fired Up tour, but there was somewhere in there where uh, Rick toured with Prince briefly and uh, things didn't work out great. And there's been a lot of like rumors about what happened on that tour and that there was a sort of feud between them. So I got to ask you, what, what, what can you tell me about that tour and, and what happened? That tour, we were inside the studio and uh, Rick asked us, you know, what do you think about having Prince open up for us on our next tour? And everybody said, yeah, you know, because we, we liked the song that he had out at the time, yeah. um, On Be Your Lover. Yeah. And we thought it was a great idea. So he got on the tour with us. He was our opening act for the Fired Up tour. Um, that first night, it was a shocker because we didn't expect this. One thing we didn't know, he was that short. <laughs> you know, we was we were standing uh, on the side before yeah. we went to the locker room, and Rick said, "There he is," and everybody was looking, and <laughs> we, we, we didn't didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> he saw the rest of the band, but we didn't, we see, didn't him. see him. And we said, where? And he said, right there. And, and we looked down, and that, there he was. <laughs> we didn't know he was that short. But when he got on stage, yeah. uh, he was full of fire, you know. Electrifying. Yes, rock attitude. Him, Dez, Andre Simone, uh, yeah. they had the rock movement like the Rolling Stones, you know, they was posing and sounding good. They had a powerful sound. Yeah. But at the very beginning, the audience didn't know what to think of them because that was brand new to them. Right. You know, our audience, and we, we basically introduced him to a different audience. You know, and eventually they, you know, got warmed up to him, you know, his, uh, Outfits at the time was quite a shocker. You know, yes, <laughs> we didn't expect that. <laughs> you know, but um, as far as uh, a rivalry and you know madness and attitudes and people being mad at one another, media rumor. Yeah, you know they wanted to build it. The, the Prince of Funk meets the King of Funk and yeah. all that, and they just labeled it as that. It was no fighting or nothing going on at the time. Not at all. So in later years, there wasn't sort of like a tension between them or something like that. And I mean, there were rumors that um, Denise Matthews was part of, um, I don't know, the, the um, Rick James's band or the Mary Jane Girls or something, and then became Vanity. Was there anything to that? Oh, no. Ooh, no, what? we never heard that. <laughs> never heard that you one. Know, it's out there. Yeah. We we did hear that um, Vanity's sister knew Rick yeah. before she did. You know, and um, uh, he, he did uh, speak with, you know, he spoke aloud that he wanted to put, Rick wanted to put a girls group together, you know, and uh, then Prince came out with Vanity. And of course their attire was the lingerie, you know, and they came out first with theirs, you know, and then Rick came out with the Mary Jane girls later on, you know, which took it a, a step further, 